Oh, what's up, modern setters? We gotta move New York City into an apple orchard that we had the pigs in last year. We're just gonna take the fence, swap it down this way, and get the chickens in here. I bet you they'll be able to stay in there for three to four weeks. We won't have to move them. All right, let's get started. I hear it. Gina's got the tractor running. She'll be down here in a few minutes. Looks like we had a dead apple tree fall over this winter. The chickens will love playing on that. Let's just make sure we got enough room to go around it. And we will. Awesome. So what I was thinking is undo this side of New York City and walk it down and then we can go around the other side and walk that one down. Sound like a plan? What? We're gonna undo <laughs> this side of the fence yeah. and then bring it down this oh, way. So just leave this here. We'll leave this here and then we'll do the same thing for the other side and if we don't have enough fence we'll go get the poultry, fed poultry netting from Premier One. How easy is it going to be to put those two together? Easy. Easy peasy. Yeah. Let's do this! The energizer. I don't know if you can hear all the noise or not, but that's the silky hen that was with all the barred rock chicks. We ended up selling the eight pullets and one rooster yesterday, and I think she's missing them.
better take the hose off. What will happen if you don't? I don't know. I'd hate to rip it on something. And spring a leak in New York City, Pluto. That wouldn't be good. Yeah. All right. Let's move this thing. Watch out, Pluto. Watch out. Come sit by me. Come here. Pluto. Pluto. Come on. Little dragon. Pluto. Come on. Pluto. Hey. The ground looks like now. Now all growing beautiful. That's where you want to go. She likes to be involved. She does. She likes knowing she's the boss. Alright. Get this thing lowered down. Well, that was another New York City successful move. Who's coming out first? Oh, we got the ducks. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Biggs. <laughs> you got plenty of room to run. Is that a booster? No, she's got very big combs. They gotta love all the dead apple trees. It's like roosting poles and. Like the silky red one. Nope, she's an Icelandic. What do you think, Mr. Biggs? I think that would get annoying in my vision. Maybe it shades her. Oh, I hope we didn't make any scrambled eggs. <laughs> You guys got so much room to go run and play and frolic in. Look at all that room.
I'll feed them at night in New York City. So that way, if they want to get fed, they got to go in the chicken coop. Let's pick some beans. Huh? Yeah. Don't pick them when they're too small. This is the good one. Okay. Can't taste so good. Mm -hmm. so good. I wish, I wish they would stay. Mom, look at this one. It's a big one, huh? Mm -hmm. There's another big one right here. Look at that big one. That's even bigger than the other one. The second meal eaten out in the outdoor kitchen. This time we're eating a pasture raised chicken pot pie. It's pretty good. You did a good job. What do you think? Thumbs up? Two thumbs up. Mm -hmm. And we can watch the pigs. I can. They smell it. Be they don't smell it. Tomorrow we're going to try a few things to save our tomatoes and get rid of the blossom end rot, so stay tuned for that video. That was a pretty good chicken pot pie for dinner, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Olivia gave it a two thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, more. Oh, you'd give it more if you had more thumbs? Yeah, a hundred thumbs up. A hundred no, thumbs actually, up. No, actually, um, I just put a thing on myself. Like, I'm all A million oh, thumbs up. Oh, that's a big wow. crap compliment for Olivia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it's really helping the channel grow. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at... Run the Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye. Bye.